Welcome to an Algebra 1 sample question. This is number 24. It says that we have some ordered pairs and they are points on a graph of a linear equation. They want to know which of the following graphs shows all the ordered pairs in the solution set of this linear equation. So linear means a degree of 1, like y equals mx plus b if you want. And we're going to take those three points and just look at two points. So even though there are three points, we're looking at only two points because we're going to find our slope first. It doesn't matter which points you pick. The ones that are going that I'm going to pick are 20 comma negative 29.5. So I'm writing it down. And the one right next to it, the 21 comma, negative 31. Remember, when you want to find slope of a line, you don't need three points. You just need two points that you know are on the line. I could have used the first and second point, the second and third point. It doesn't matter. Notice I'm lab labeling them x1, y1, and labeling the second pair of points x2, y2. I'm going to use the slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Carefully plug those in. And I say carefully because something special is going to happen in the numerator. And once you plug it in, you could just do the math. So just focus on the numerator, then focus on the denominator. When you have a minus negative, it becomes a plus sign. So negative 31 plus 29.5 is negative 1.5. For your denominator, 21 over 20 is 1. Finally, negative 1.5 divided by 1 is negative 1.5 because anything divided by 1 is the same thing. All right, so now that means since we got negative 1.5, which is negative slope, remember m means slope, and we got a negative answer. Anything that has a positive slope, aka increasing from left to right, is terribly wrong. So we're not even going to look at those two answer choices. We're only going to look at the two answer choices that have negative slope. At this point, I'm not sure which one has negative 1.5 as its slope, but I can try to convert it into a fraction. So I'm going to convert negative 1.5 into a fraction, and it is negative 3 over 2. In case you need help with that, you could think of that as $3 divided by two people. Each person will get $1.50 as represented by the 1.5. But let's not forget the negative. So make sure. All right. So we're going to do the other slope formula, which is slope is equal to rise if it's positive or fall if it's negative. And your denominator will be always to run to the right-hand side. So I'm going to put negative 3 over 2 next to the slope formula, and you'll see that we're actually falling and then running to the right. We are falling 3 units and going to the right 2 units. And this happens from any point that you pick on the linear equation. I'm going to try to pick whole number points, some integer points, so then you can see it clearly using the boxes. So I pick this point on the linear equation, I'm going to try to go down three units and then go to the right two. And if it hits the linear um, function perfectly, then it's still in the running. So as you can see for choice A, the sloped work. I, put, I picked a random point, then I did negative three over two as your slope. I fell three times, went to the right twice, and it worked. Now I'm doing that for letter D. So I chose a random point. I went down three to the right two. As you can see, it did not hit the black line. Therefore, A is your answer. So just again, look at letter D, and you can see that it wasn't on the black line. It should work for any point on the line. 